And the last one. Diagsense, um, who's... Okay. <laughs> um, I am the CEO of uh, the Accents. I am here to, to introduce you uh, our technology. It's okay, you can't hear me? <coughs> okay, my name is Tidhar Tsuri. I am the CEO of the Accents. I am here to introduce you our technology. But before we get into these details, I, want to, I would like to tell a few words about our company. Now, the Accents is an algorithm development company specialized in developing solution for phone monitoring in mechanical system and pipeline. The Accents develop a statistical algorithm designed to detect evolving malfunction in mechanical system and pipeline long before they become a real problem. The benefit, the main benefit from this is saving maintenance cost, time, avoid unexpected downtime of the pipe or the machine, and more than this, saving energy and keep the world a greener place. Oil pipeline linkage and uh, mechanical breakdowns are far too prevalent in today's world. Thanks to unique advance in arithmetic approach and artificial intelligence, our prediction algorithm is among the most accurate in existence today. Our solution is already saving client downtime and money. Okay, capabilities. Sorry, I see that I hear that you can't hear me if I'm not talking to the microphone. So I <coughs> need to stay in this position. <laughs> uh, thank you. First, first, we prevent unexpected failure in mechanical system and pipeline. Second, we, domac we dramatically reducing uh, false alarm uh, indication received um, from the current monitoring system. Uh, Today's. Uh, and third, we supply a robust uh, monitoring system running online 24 7 without the need of calibration, it even in changes in the state of the system condition. <coughs> application. Our solutions can fit to many uh, other applications. Uh, actually, uh, any mechanical system that can provide us data from the sensor installed uh, on it, we can uh, detect, uh, provide uh, predictions for, for the uh, system normal behavior, and thus we uh, give accurate maintenance predictive. At this kind, uh, right now, uh, we uh, decided to focus on uh, pipeline infrastructure. Uh, here are some proven implementation of us. At Water System, uh, mainly we, we, we made a pressure management project and, uh, of course, uh, water loss detection. And oil and gas, we have the uh, ultimate uh, uh, leak detection system. <coughs> Our technology. I'll, I'll, I'll talk a few words about our technology. It's based on normal system behavior, meaning uh, we study and uh, monitor the system as uh, in, no in normal healthy condition. It could be stationary, any stationary process, machine or pipeline. We checked and learned the correlation between the different parameters we collect, on, uh, we collect by the sample, through the sensor or the SCADA or even the monitoring system exist, uh, existing today at the clients. Now, any novelty from normal behavior is considered as first as a new case study. And if this uh, change, uh, this situation continues, meaning the correlation between the world data is broken. 
Thus, we will provide an alert on the relevant part. Since our system is adaptive and self-learning, it will not alert on transient state. In this case, we will continue operating normally with no need for calibration. In short, how does it work? Our algorithm uh, composed from two phases. Phase one, the model training, and phase two, the testing. In the model training, we supply this curve. This curve is a polynomial that defines the, <coughs> uh, the relation between the whole sample uh, measure on time. Now, just for simplicity, let's take, for example, a pipeline. And um, as I say, for, sim uh, for simplicity, I will uh, present it in two-dimensional graph. As x, is, x, as you see, represent the pressure, and as x, y represent the flow. Now, all this point, uh, each point represents flow and pressure. All these points are samples measured on time. And this curve, this is the function we find, a polynomial in higher degree, we find at the uh, uh, model training, which define the correlation between the whole parameter. Now you can imagine that at real time, uh, this graph is composed in a uh, much more dimension because each point is a structure of samples which defines uh, many uh, pressures and flow on each sections of the pipeline. And you can add it uh, temperature and viscosity and whatever we got from the sensor installed on the, our client system. Now, at the model training, at the model testing, what we do, we take a real sample at, uh, at real time from the sensor and we measure the distance from the curve. What does it mean? We take the parameters and actually place it in the polynomial, in the function we found at the model training, and see if the distance is larger, is larger than the predefined thresholds we, de uh, we defined with the customer, with our customer. And it's, if it's larger and this situation continues, we will uh, shout about an alert on the relevant part. In short, our advantages, there is no misdetections, low rate of false alarm. There is always trade-off between false alarm and misdetection. This is not trivial. No need to install any other sensor, uh, sensor or equipment. We are integrated with the system, with the client's monitoring system, or SCADA or sensor or whatever. We supply a robust 24-7 uh, monitoring system with no need uh, for user intervention, even. OK. Um, uh, with our system, uh, the client uh, can migrate maintenance program from scheduled to predictive. You can change the part when it's uh, actually warning out, but uh, not basing on your maintenance assumption, but on fact. If I have the time, I will uh, be glad to show you some example. No? No. We don't okay. have the time, so. Thank you very much. One example. Thank you, you saved me. Okay. Here we can see, uh, you can see a pressure management project. Now the goal of this project is to keep the pressure outside from this neighborhood at a two and a half bar. Um, as you can see, the input <laughs> For the algorithm is uh, the <coughs> pressure sensor at the exit and the pressure sensor at the beginning, at the entry to the uh, neighborhood, and of course the flow meter. <coughs> now, what we need, what we need to do here, is to understand the consumer behavior, because the consumer uh, um, consume water differently in the morning, in the in the evening, at the night, and at the weekend, and at the seasons of the year. Now. Uh, we, n we must learn how the system, uh, we must learn and predict how the system will uh, use the water. And uh, uh, by doing that, we can configure online the controller that resides at the top, at the beginning, to the neighborhood. Here we can, you can see uh, our recommendation. Actually, it's on real time. You can see that by midnight, we uh, configure the, the controller to be 
<coughs> to enter the pressure to the, uh, to the neighborhood at 4.7 bars, and at, the, at, the, at noon, you can see that we recommend it uh, to almost, uh, point, uh, almost 5 even. Uh, by doing that uh, pressure management, uh, we are, of course, saving water waste and um, um, keeping the, all the equipment uh, lifetime. Yes, another example? <laughs> okay. Other questions? Okay, look, this algorithm is a custom made because uh, there are different kind of uh, sensor or, irpo or inputs we get from our customer. Now, we need to learn, the, there is a phasing of, learn, of learning. We need to learn even if it's, uh, uh, we are inst uh, making installation uh, at pipelines, but we need to, uh, to learn uh, uh, from the beginning uh, at each pipeline, because each pipeline has uh, a different uh, deployment and uh, different kind of uh, um, material, that the, um, uh, different pumps, and the statistica is getting over all these uh, problems. How long does it converge to three months? The learning phase? Uh, even less, because uh, you, you, um, taking uh, samples, uh, 1,000 samples, it's enough to learn how this pipeline, for example, <coughs> is acting in, uh, in one state. But you still basically including the sensors as a project, not just the software? Um, I'm selling the software. If it's an oil pipeline, it's, uh, it's running uh, in addition to its monitoring system, and it's a leak detection system. Um, okay. Other questions? Uh, usually ask two questions, so... <laughs> <laughs> For me, three. Does okay. it work also with variable customers, like a municipality that uh, people open here and there, uh, sprinklers, whatever, or only in fixed customers, like irrigation system, whatever? And secondly, if it works with a uh, changing customer, what, uh, what is the minimal uh, change for the normal that you can detect? I think the first uh, questions I uh, understand about municipality. Now, uh, in the tenders of municipality, I mean the Karam system, sorry, there is a section that deal with leak detection, and here we come into it. Uh, okay, now, um, at the new, uh, what I want to say that at the new tenders uh, uh, in municipality in Israel, there is a, a paragraph that deal with the leak detection, and we are taking the, these tenders with other company, of course, that supply the, all the controllers. Uh, we are getting into this through the leak detection section. And uh, what was the other question? <laughs> Okay, and I see. Uh, our system is very sensitive to any changes in the uh, normal behavior of the client system. Now, if you want to detect corrosion or uh, something that development uh, could take a year for development uh, uh, to occur, we can detect the, the changes uh, in a month, but we will not alert about it. We, we, we will alert about the the leak itself, the problem itself, and we alert it at the moment it's happened. But uh, there, are, there are many kinds of events that we can distinguish uh, in the, with this uh, monitoring system. One last question. What is your IP field? Okay, about IP, our algorithm is uh, compiled and closed, is like a black box, and we did not publish it I, I would be glad to uh, elaborate about it, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> currently this is the situation. Do you have implementation in place? Implementation, yes, of course. We've got implementation in Tashan and Galcon 
pressure management and abroad we are uh, doing some um, pressure management for uh, the Cancun uh, municipality and uh, in the Black Sea for an Ukraine um, company. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.